They Couldn't Stop the Butterfly by Poet. I dedicate this book to a very special person. That person taught me to be strong and compassionate, to always trust in God, to work hard for what you want, and to take care of what you already have. That very special person was my mother. Love, Poet. To my readers, I hope you will enjoy my Kampara poems. The Kampara poems consists of a three to six line poem stanza with a story that usually coincides with the stanza. I call myself poet because someday I hope to become an accomplished writer. They say whatever you believe, that you can become. Thank you for reading. They couldn't stop the butterfly. Yours truly, poet. They couldn't stop the butterfly. There was this caterpillar that was waiting to be transformed into a beautiful butterfly, waiting to be adored. But there were those who sought to stop the caterpillar's transformation. They took the caterpillar into captivity. They tormented the caterpillar day in and day out till the caterpillar could no longer stand the pain. The caterpillar cried out, Spirit, please save me from these wicked and nefarious people. The sky opened and the caterpillar heard a voice saying, Hold on, butterfly, hold on. But the beatings never stopped, and the torment never ceased. The caterpillar's wounds were fused with puss and blood. The caterpillar cried out once again, Please, spirit, save me. This time the spirit was heard from afar, saying, Hold on, butterfly, hold on. When the caterpillar thought he could no longer stand the pain and was ready to die, a bright light shined on the caterpillar. The bright light caused a great healing to take place. When the caterpillar's tormentors saw the bright light, they were astounded. Great fear overtook the caterpillar's foes because they knew that the caterpillar was the best. They knew that the caterpillar had passed their test. Now the transformation could begin. What transpired? A beautiful butterfly with wings of splendor that was loved and adored by many. The spirit never called the caterpillar a caterpillar. The spirit always called the caterpillar a butterfly. We are not seen for what we are. We are seen for what we can become. There will be times when we will not feel up to norm. We must, we must remember that we are loved. Hold on, butterflies. Hold on. He was on the wrong side of the ground. There was no truth in his mouth. He was on the wrong side of the ground. There was too little love in his heart. He was on the wrong side of the ground. There were many people that he refused to pay. He was on the wrong side of the ground. He fathered many children. Those children needed food to eat and place to stay. He was on the wrong side of the ground. Is the grass greener on the other side? Author, poet. I was envious when my neighbor bought a new house. Is the grass greener on the other side? I was jealous because my friend married a handsome man. Is the grass greener on the other side? I was annoyed when a former high school student got a promotion on her job. Is the grass greener on the other side? I became agitated when my brother-in-law bought a new car. Is the grass greener on the other side? My neighbor can hardly keep up his mortgage payments. My co-worker's husband is having sex with everybody in her neighborhood, except her. My high school friend's job is so strenuous that she has to see a mental health doctor twice a week. My brother-in-law said that by the time he has finished paying for his Mercedes-Benz, the car will be ready for the junkyard. When I ponder the idea that everybody is doing so much better than I am, I come to this conclusion. Many times the grass looks greener on the other side, it's because we are looking at it from a distance. If we take a closer look, we will see that much of its color has faded and most of its strength has dissolved. Boomerang, author, poet. Stephen Shoshana, who was known as Boomerang, never trusted any woman, not even his mother. Boomerang wanted to be loved, but all his women were not trustworthy. Boomerang was living with a woman named Roxanne. Boomerang tried to catch Roxanne cheating, but he was unsuccessful. Since Boomerang couldn't catch her cheating, he thought she was the right woman for him. She had passed his test of trust. Boomerang married Roxanne. 
They had been married for two months when she announced the news that she was pregnant. One night, Roxanne got sick and had to go to the hospital. She lost the baby. Boomerang told Roxanne not to worry that they could have another baby. Boomerang thanked the doctors and told them that hopefully Roxanne's next pregnancy would be a success and that she would be able to carry the baby full term instead of only three months. The doctors told Boomerang that Roxanne was five months pregnant when she lost the baby. Boomerang could not believe what he was hearing. He was in total shock. How could Roxanne be five months pregnant? What happened to the three months pregnancy? He and Roxanne were together for a year before they got married. They didn't want to have sex until they were married. Stephen and Roxanne were married three months ago. Boomerang felt bad because he knew that Roxanne had made a complete fool out of him. The baby she had been carrying was not his. Boomerang went to Roxanne's hospital bed and asked Roxanne who was the father of her child. He told her what the doctors told him. Roxanne tried to lie, but Boomerang did not believe her. Two hours later, fire trucks were dispatched. The fireman went to the eighth floor of Boldane Hospital to room 808 and saw a hospital bed on fire. Roxanne was in that bed. If you play with fire, you could get burned. 